Hey guys, welcome back. So today I have an interesting topic uh, for you. One of my viewers had commented about how do I polar align uh, my equatorial mount. Now, of course, this video is not about polar alignment. There's there's a lot of videos out there how to polar align a German equatorial mount. The thing that I want to talk about in today's video is the challenge that an amateur astronomer face if he's living in a lower latitude, less than 15 degree north, coupled with the heavy light pollution. Often he would encounter with the problem uh, specifically while using electronic uh, polar scopes that uh, not enough stars are detected. And that happens because you know light has to travel a l higher uh, distance uh, in the atmosphere for, for lower compared to what it has to travel while, while it is in the zenith. Now while doing that you would uh, encounter this problem about not having sufficient star to polar align. Now of course there is no denying at the very first when you are you are using uh, there's a centering uh, algorithm that uh, runs which detects uh, the, the center point now that needs to be done in a location preferably in an in a dark sky location no escaping from that but obviously you know uh, the astro lovers who live in the city they it is not possible for them to travel to a dark sky location every now and then now if you want to do uh, astrophotography using a German equatorial mount in a heavily light polluted area at a lower latitude then this is the problem that of many of you would have encountered now what I have done to sort out this is I have made a template I would explain you in this video how I have made that template and then I use that template each and every time for roughly polar aligning my uh, mount and of course if you are using auto guiding then uh, this is good enough it hasn't given any problem to me specifically i have observed that you know with this method i have achieved around 0.7 uh, arc seconds of rms of the the tracking uh, that the phd2 gives now without wasting any time let's see how it how it's done the first step towards creating the template is obviously polar lining as you can see i am living in a brothel 8 uh, plus sky and very few stars are there what we can see is typically what i call the mercedes pattern now once you are polar lined leave it in exact that fashion don't even you know tighten try to tighten any screws leave it just like that and come back to your laptop you can use the transparent slides you can also use an acrylic sheet a 2 or 3 mm one which will give you even better results the trick is to fix this sheet in a way that it doesn't move and to accurately point your stars now once this step is done i would use a whitener to mark them for better visibility once this is used over the black screen now the template is ready for use however here i could not show you the real usage because of cloudy skies at my location however i will show you an animation of how actually it's done you can also try to make this template look like the older polar scope radical you can think that this template is a kind of radical if you have a manual polar scope certain points to be taken care of the zoom level of the the software that you are using should not change the monitor the laptop that you are using should not change the resolution setting of the monitor should not change and if all these parameters are fixed every time you can use that template to roughly polar align your scope and coupled with that if you are using uh, auto guiding then you are sorted you need not worry i hope this idea is useful to people living in the lower latitude do subscribe to my channel like and share thank you